Yeah, I uh, I don't want to talk about high school. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It's, not, <laughs> it's not your best years. It's just the easy years. Okay, it's... I've got. I I wouldn't even say easy, but I here's a here's a, a mini high school story for uh for y'all. I was I was upset, and my friend was upset, and I won't say like it doesn't matter why, but we were both upset, and we were both sitting in front of the school, uh, and you know class was going on. We were thinking like we could go in and go back to class, but it just felt kind of weird. We didn't want to go in, and I was like, you know what, Emily, I want to get into a fight, and she's like, oh my god, no shot, yeah, oh, nice. me too. I was like. Dude, should we fight each other? She's like, yeah, you let's fucking do it. Let's go. I've never been in like a ser- like I've been in middle school fights, but I've never been in a serious, serious fight before. And right. we were like, OK, rules, no hair pulling, uh, no biting. And those were the only rules. Uh, but we started absolutely wailing on each other. <laughs> no hold bars. Like we were not angry at each other. We were we were like in this together. We were just taking our anger out on each other. By the end of it, I had such a fucking shiner, but she was beat to shit. You got to like you were just purging the instincts. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, no, <laughs> this is like a story for future generations. Mom, Dad, what did you guys do when you didn't have phones? Oh, we just beat the shit out of each other because we were bored. That's right, this Lord, was before Wait, phones. you can't fucking say that because it's true. Yeah. I have too many. Look, look, we already talked about it on the podcast like the not too long ago when I had the, the, the knockout thing because we were bored. And oh, even then yeah. we had like... We had oh, yeah. video games and stuff, but that's something I did with my friend one night. Yes, we beat the uh, the shit out of each other back when you were a lot more bored and didn't have pocket yeah. phone pocket. Computer. My brother, my brother and I stole uh, rubbing alcohol from my dad's cabinet, l- like poured it into the driveway, lit it on fire, and then challenged each other to run across the fire pool. Oh, I've yeah, got so- I've got two did stories already- involving fire. Did I already tell the story about uh, putting? the uh the the garage door down on my arm no oh, shit did it oh, go okay down this way? okay so here's yeah here's the funny part so i have a twin <clears throat> sister right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh we were like could the garage kill you because our parents were like don't fuck with the garage don't mess around with that stuff and i was like i don't know i don't know if the garage can kill you so we jet like me and her said our goodbyes just in case <laughs> Oh my god! You were like, like, willing to die for the you dumbest were... science. <laughs> for science. So I go, wow. and first we're gonna test it, right? So she puts her arm down under uh under the garage. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, uh, and it like keeps triggering it, so it won't go down. Okay, so she goes to the garage. I put my arm down, and I don't know if it was the way I was holding my arm. But I was under the little laser that senses it to keep it from going up. So the garage door closes completely on my arm. Ah. And that hurts. There's a lot of pressure. And I'm panicking because I think it just chopped my arm off. Oh, my God. (laughs) And Jennifer panics. So she runs over to me. But I'm like, open the garage door. So she runs back, knocks over the little ladder she was using to open the garage door, is frantically trying to get the garage open while I'm screaming my head off because <laughs> i think i've just lost my arm to the garage door we Props completed you, at least you had the good f- oh sorry go ahead oh so see we complete it and we're like okay let's try it on the neck now <laughs> oh my you god did, i was oh about god. to say okay, at least you mind. didn't put it on the neck you know what darwin oh darwinism should have got you fuckers darwin oh and i have nine right lives now. but i lost at least one that day <laughs> oh my lord like, i love you ruby but like <laughs> how the fuck didn't you guys die <laughs> How am I not dead yet? <laughs> it was like you said your goodbyes and you just like really had to commit. Was that what that was? Like you're like, okay, we said our goodbyes. One of us has to die. Ruby go for it. Just... Great. You have to make there it worth it. There was an unusual amount of dedication. Yeah, I was. So, I was un like I cannot explain how unafraid I was. Like, <laughs> well, because like I'm hoping like in your mind you're like, there's no way this is lethal. So like there wasn't as much worry. But obviously like in that moment you thought, oh, my arm's gone. <laughs> You freak the out. Sheer well, Russian I, 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 lack of attachment. I want to your know. I want to know, but check uh, uh, down in the comments below. You can also uh, say if you have done this before. But like, it's a very similar experience. You guys kind of made the, the 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 conscious decision to do that. But like, how many of us have like accidentally like put your arm and like got your arm caught in the window of a car? Like you didn't well, know, mom didn't realize, or dad didn't realize. They op- they rolled up the window on you. 
Like I've had that happen yeah, before. That. And oh, that hurts I, so, so bad. It, does. it hurts and it's very shocking because you didn't agree to it. So like, I I kind of think I know what panic you went through at that moment because you're like, oh, Mark, 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 this was supposed to kill yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> Except I for, remember... yeah. Except Ruby's laying on the ground going, all right, death. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm giving them the I thumbs up. I've got like goggles it. on for safety. God. No shot you had goggles on. Oh, yeah, we had gone. For safety. Like, okay. Yeah, well, like, he's he's right right right. Look, look, dying's okay, but, like, God forbid I lose eyesight. I remember when it landed on my neck, it was pinching the sunglasses, like, the goggles. Oh, on my God. It. Actually, <laughs> like, you guys uh, actually did the neck thing, and it actually... Oh, we really did the neck thing. That it one, that, like, it hit my neck. Moment. Fucking Ruby. disclaimer, by the way, do not Ruby, ever do I mean anything this like this. In the nicest way Don't possible. do anything I've done ever. I mean, Children, listen don't nicest. listen to the Bark Bark Meow podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just me. It's just the meow <laughs> part. <laughs> Ruby, <laughs> Ruby, I mean this in the nicest way possible. Are you stupid? I, you yeah. know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Should we do the real intro now? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's no, right. This, okay. is, this is definitely getting moved to somewhere in the episode, but I that's all right. the cold open, baby. <laughs> oh, god dang. <laughs> All we right, have this uh, lovely I say, guest. Oh, wait, yeah, I say no, that no. we we'll do bark bark meow and then Pip make whatever you think a badger sound is. Don't tell us, just do it. And we'll react. Don't even give us an inkling uh, of an idea and, of what and you you're can, about to and do. If you're the guest, so you can start it. So you could say, "Welcome to the the," and then bark bark meow and then podcast. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, well, okay. I'm gonna try not to screw this bit up, but let's go for it. <clears throat> I think Pip, you're supposed to say. Oh shit! Doing. I have to start. Okay. You, you, say, you say, you say, welcome to the, and then we'll do bark, bark, meow, and then you're gonna be whatever. Try not to screw it up, dead. And something. then we're gonna, and then we're gonna react to that really quick. If it's really good or bad or awful or whatever you decide to do, and then we're gonna introduce you. Then we're gonna talk to you, ask you some questions, do your segment, and then we're gonna roll into the regular part of the podcast where we have some subjects that you can weigh in on. So gotcha. All right. Welcome to the. Bark. Bark. Meow. Violence. Podcast. <laughs> no, what are you, a freaking honey? What was it? The uh, uh, honey, honey badger? badger don't care. You a honey badger? I am actually not a honey badger. I'm a European badger. And pe- yeah, you're a regular keep badger. fucking getting that wrong. You're not I, violent. I knew you were a regular honey badger. badger no, violent. all badgers are violent. All mustelids are incredibly violent creatures. Yeah. We're just really cute about it. <laughs> yeah. I can violence, relate to that. Violence can be cute sometimes. I relate to that sentiment. Yes! Thank you! <laughs> I understand you. Any, any like, cat owner knows that. Oh, yes. 100%. They're like, wow, this is really cute. Why are you biting my ankle? Because it's adorable. Yeah, it's... you're petting them, and it's like, uh, like, they just start, like, wailing on you. <laughs> Dude, yeah, no, cats will, like, reach a limit where everything's fine and you're petting them, and then there's like, mm, I think I'm gonna claw you now. So oh, I what? genuinely... This little wooden... St- okay, we had... I was sorry I interrupted you. I was hanging out with my friend Furiosa recently, and mm-hmm. I had a tummy ache, and I was being really brave about it. I'll have you know, okay. but I had a tummy ache, and they were like, "Oh, can I rub your tummy to make it feel better?" I didn't know that was a thing people actually enjoyed, like getting their tummy touched. So I thought she was just bullying me and threatening me, and I freaking bit her hand. <laughs> She's no. like, "Ruby, why?" And I was like, "Don't oh my fucking God. touch my tummy." Yeah. No, I'm- I- I'm very ticklish and like a little self conscious about my stomach. So, yeah, I would probably react mm, the same too. way. So, like, yeah. Same. I was going to say, I don't have a necessarily ticklish thing. So, I can touch my stomach like I am right. I'm doing it right now, but you can't see it, obviously. But, like, if other people touch it, my body, like, my body involuntarily, like, I, I, I want to call it a convulsion, like a tremor. It, like, my, my, my gut actually, like, jerks away from them. Like, I can't I do belly rubs same. in person. Yeah. I can't you, do it. If you do it, you will. F- fuck with me and i don't 100 like percent comment below are you the type of person like like some people are only like their significant other but like do you like getting your belly touched if you do you're a psychopath but i have to know like <laughs> all right we're like two minutes into this really quick hi pip hi pip hello oh, right. hi everyone hi this is pip the badger uh, yeah due to some money we... passed under the table we got him back as a as a uh, guest after watching his video last week which by the way class did you watch the rest of the video there, there will be a test on this. We will have a test during the After Bark episode. 
I there will be a test on this. I'm going to go into your DMs and yeah. test all of you. Just I all forgore. 300 of you. Hip will message and I know, everybody. I know, I know the ending has got like more outtakes in it and I have to watch it still. Solace, you didn't watch it? You were the most no. excited about it. I know. You know what happened? Life. Fair. That's fair. 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 Which, not going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about Pip. We're going to talk about Pip. So you're not, a, you're not a honey badger. We've established this. Yes, I am a European badger, Melis said, Melis. Oh, Melis. Oh, you know that from Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yes, I know that. For, I know that from being a badger, actually. You know no. where I know that from? Media. Where do you know that from? Warrior Cats. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. All right, you know I what? Knew, I knew which badger you were this whole time because you're the badgers that attack the warrior cat. Yes, and for badgers that, you get a gold cats? star. You get a thank gold star, you, Ruby. Thank you. Oh, my Speaking God. Speaking of which... There's a uh, there's a little lesson you all wanted uh, me to give you, right? Yes. Well, <clears throat> yes. Figured. So, is How that a good segue? Know? I don't. I don't no, fucking know. I, it was a podcast. decent. I, I wanted to talk a little bit more about. Oh, you. go 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 oh, go for it. Yeah. Because yeah, just be like, go, oh, you're a YouTuber. Yes, I like, am YouTuber. Not a shitty way, but Misha's oh gonna leave God. this anyways. I am Misha also a YouTuber. <laughs> Wait, you YouTube? I do. Dude, Misha, you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Dude! Oh my god, are you all YouTubers? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the same with self-plug. Plug yourself, Pip. Uh, yeah, you can follow me on my YouTube uh, page, Pip the Badger. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can't. And if you want to follow me on Blue Sky, you shouldn't. <laughs> you know what's funny? Is I like that a lot. I saw it, like, I don't remember if it was, like, in your Telegram description or what, but somewhere you were like, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can't. And, like, if you want to follow me on Blue Sky, you should. I remember that exact thing. Because that was the reason I didn't tag you when I was promoting your video on Blue Sky. Was because I thought you didn't have a Blue Sky. And then you replied to me. And I, I was do like, oh, have a Blue Sky. Yeah. <laughs> it's because, I do have a Blue Sky, but it's not funny. That's the only issue. I need to damn. work on that. I uh, I posted eggplant today. He did. You posted... And you posted Snake. the words eggplant emoji, Earth. just like, I'm going to no, do that one. No, no, eggplant no, no, no. emoji, so, but not the was, actual emoji, just no, the words eggplant No, I was doing emoji. Instacart, which actually what you're saying is a better post than my post, goddammit. Um, <laughs> but no, 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 I was Instacarting the other day, and uh, I had to pick up an actual eggplant for the order, and I had to take a picture because I'm like, fuck, this will be useful later. <laughs> And I sure as hell did today. I randomly was like, you know what? This will be uh, a surprise tool for later. <laughs> I, I put it, the, the, the post was just, I showed you my eggplant emoji, which was. You should have emoji. saved it for Friday. I hope then, you saved it for Friday. Oh, no, 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 no. It has nothing to do with the fursuit. Uh, you know what? We're not going to talk about the way that Blue Sky reminds people that it's Friday. Uh, a, uh, I actually, uh, does it how? Like, I haven't seen posts like that in a while. It was definitely popping for like the beginning, but those aren't. I'm not familiar with this guy. How does it show you it's Friday? Right, comment, uh, don't, don't ask. No, we don't can't, ask questions can't you don't want to know about the answer it. to. <laughs> can't talk about it unless you're 18. Ruby, I'll message you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, interesting. Okay. This guy had definitely, a, it was it was all over the place there in the beginning uh, when I joined, at least. So. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of fun. So yeah, uh, Pip the Badger, um, must the uh, must musky um, Badger. <clears throat> what? Okay, Freudian. I it's like okay. it. No, shut. <clears throat> <laughs> right. That was a good comeback. <laughs> that was I. I am uh, I am famed for my clever witticisms, but I rarely pull them out when I'm not on the script. I rarely That's pull them out said. too. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's good. <laughs> we same brain to that one. <laughs> uh me and Ruby sharing the same brain cell for once. What well, else? Okay, okay for so once. what was uh, so here? Here's my thing: is what was obviously Pip is like a historian, right? That's his <laughs> whole bit. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, history that's is a one bit, fucking kids. trick. But you are a historian. That's what your label yeah, is. Yeah, that's I'm your government. At that's into your a government. Bit more. Uh, your government yeah, assigned job. Is that your government assigned for soda? Assigned. I could think. <laughs> no, it's not my government trite. assigned for soda. I assigned it. I assigned it to my. I assigned it to myself. Ooh. So, like, were you always good at history? Uh, you know, it was actually a really good high school teacher I had who got me interested enough in history to actually pursue it uh, when I went to college. Hey, um, that's good. So yeah, I'm super into history, and thank God I was because it genuinely, the study of history genuinely improved who I was as a person, and I'm always thankful uh, to the history field for that. 
Nice. Yeah. That's really sweet. It is kind so of amazing I, uh, how much like the teachers that we have in middle and high school really shape the subjects that we're interested in. Because like I had history teachers all throughout middle and high school that just like it seemed like they couldn't give less of a you know less of a shit, mm -hmm, and so. Mm -hmm. I'm really bad at history because now no. I don't care. Like I, I recognize that it's important. I just can't be asked to study it, man. Yeah, that's that's me too. Uh, I don't know if that was because my dad was kind of more into the history stuff, and I just didn't care. But uh, I, so I don't like I, again. I understand its importance, right? But mm -hmm. I also don't care. Um, oh, I do. Bad, bad, I do. Bad, soulless. soulless uh, in advance, I'm giving you minus one gold star for that guy. I, I have do want to soulless. say. I was going to say, we're, we brought Pip on now, and now we're just like shitting on his subject. Oh, I, yeah, here's our historian. Yes, yes, by the way, it's cool. Pip, Pip's awesome. I, I'm the one that asked him to come <laughs> do a segment. It is true. He did ask. The point was that it's not my thing yeah. to go study. I like little bits and pieces of things here and there. More explicitly, or cat, ow, she wants my attention. See, so, violence can uh, be cute. Uh, yeah, she she wants attention. Sometimes she'll pop up and she like nips my my side, and it's like stop it. But yeah, uh, I like items from history. So I did like watching kind of mm. like some of the pawn stars, not because of the like you know the drama and stuff but because like they bring in like an old coin or a really old tool or something and i think that's kind of cool uh you know me like weaponry of course i mean i grew up thinking yeah. swords knives and guns yeah cool. of course. so like i like all those like seeing how it progressed and all that kind of stuff but when it comes to like yo do you know what happened in the 1800s at this place i'm like no nah, i don't give a shit <laughs> I, I totally <laughs> like that stuff. I get Ed, dude, especially the mythology of history is so fascinating for me. Mm. Planning on doing some mythology stuff in the oh. near future. For that. Get Ruby so on. Interested. Get Ruby Super. on. All right. Yeah. DM me after this. I, I want to be I Anubis or some shit. <laughs> Uh, I was planning on doing, uh, I was planning on doing Charon, Sisyphus, and uh, Prometheus, and the eagle who eats Prometheus's I'll liver. I was gonna say, we love, uh, make me Prometheus. <laughs> I can do that. I'll, I'll take one Ooh. for the team. <laughs> take one for the team and get your eve, eat your liver eaten every day and have it regrow every day. For eternity. Yes. Oh God, that's right. That's who that was. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Me, I know, I know a history or two. Okay, another gold two. star for, Ru or for yeah. Ruby. I feel like there's yeah. some favoritism happening here. Uh, hold on. <laughs> there is absolutely favoritism. I'm noticing a theme <laughs> with I this. A a oh, Matt. Mm. I'm a cool oh, guy. I am not I, letting I, you use that. <laughs> I didn't mean You'll it. You'll never okay. get I'm me to cool oh. Editing Misha, bleep that out so people have to guess what he said. Yeah. Wait, bleep oh, what oh, out? God, I wasn't paying attention. Doing bleep a right, bleep out so he could just say, I'm a Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> and then Solus oh. can go, oh. Yeah, I, I fucking refuse. Bark, 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 uh, bark. Positivity pack, kill him. The, <laughs> that's my kill him. Him. man. That's my people. <laughs> We're turning your people against you. Yes, it's we are. Like, this is, uh, see, if you had studied be, the French Revolution. I was about to say, if you'd studied you history, you'd you be prepared. Do you think you're more charismatic than I am? Oh, please, Louis the Sixteenth was not charismatic. Oh! Uh, how do you plan on persuading my people to kill me? <laughs> By giving them bread instead of saying, oh, fuck it, let's just let them have cake instead. Uh, I'm the Oreo, man. I got Oreos. You are exactly one half of an Oreo. I didn't mean that as an insult. That sounded no. mean. What? No, it's a joke. It's a really joke. I know. <laughs> it's great. Uh, before... Oh fuck! Oh, it's really big. Sorry. Oh. Oh. So oh, gosh, I was gonna mention. That, I, I was actually gonna now. see if you would do that, but then I was like, I don't want to ask, like, be ask you to do a bunch more stuff that you don't want to do, and then nah, you're doing this, it already. This is great. This is great. <laughs> I um, love that you're doing that already because I also have done something. So at some point in time, <laughs> how can you come up? I need you to figure out what a negative star would be because that's what you have to give uh, me. It's a okay. I took, that away. I took that. I took that away when you said, "Oh, it's okay. It's just not my thing." So you're back at zero. Uh, oh, okay. to Misha for having to do right where I should be. You're still at zero. <laughs> Look at this guy. What a competitive I have, fuck. I have oh, given what? myself a star as well. Oh, oh my god! Uh, yes. Slap this is sick. Ruby Gold Star. <laughs> I'm also looking uh, at Pip now. 
Hey, Ruby Gold. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I see that. That's sick. So, oh my god. I love, I love being the center of attention. Fucking <laughs> teacher's pet. Speaking of two of us not being super into history, Pip, you had a history lesson for us, right? Uh, yeah, I do have a history lesson. So I was asked to prepare something that had elements of absurdity to it, uh, but also had something to do with anthropomorphism. My original story was about was going to be about the horse who became a Roman senator. Uh, and then I looked into that more and figured out it was one of those funny things that... Uh, medieval historians writing about Rome do, where they make things up that didn't happen and say, this says so much about our fiefdom. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, really hoping that it would have turned out to be true, that an actual horse becoming a senator, because that would have been hilarious. Been great. It would have been hilarious. But There's a dog that's actually game. mayor in Alaska. So that I've seen that thing. article, but I haven't actually read into it to see how real that is. They just like put two headlines are headlines, in front of yo. them. Oh no, it's real. I've read it. In fact, oh, okay. uh, not only th there's also a cat that's mayor, but not only is it so real. When he got, uh, when somebody ran against him like two years ago or very recently, uh, the town was so upset because the human won, obviously, that they reinstated the dog as mayor. <laughs> Get fucking humble, dude! Holy Stop shit! The How count. dare you run against the dog? Stop the count! <laughs> oh my that's god! Amazing. Stop the count! <laughs> oh god i hate myself for making that uh, bit. right anyway yeah back uh, on track back Thank on you. track <laughs> right so that didn't pan out because medieval historians are funny but they're also the least reliable source in many cases that you can get awesome um so instead i found something that was a little more contemporaneous to my field of expertise which is medievalism so we're going to talk about legal anthropomorphism instead i'm excited uh, for this because i have an as idea. you can as you notice, I have already awarded some of you, one of you, stars. And when you get three stars, you will get to draw something out of my treasure box of PNGs. I will roll a D8 and you will get a random prize. I will just send it in what? the chat with the name oh, of who owns here, it. I, oh my God. I, I'll remove one of my stars. Um, that way I can participate. There we go. Yeah, yeah you're one away. I have two, I, yeah. Misha, I, do not feel the need to like work double time for me to make this stupid joke work. If you want to say no, stop, please. No, no I, you're good. I think you should roll with it, and we'll deal with that in post. I okay. Am so I'm. I'm this gonna, is the I'm, same I'm, amount of work for Misha. <laughs> God, I am. I am in this weird realm of. I want to say fuck you because you're the system now. Whoa. But also, I'm incredibly competitive, and now I want stars too. Okay, so I, you get stars I by asking good questions or answering questions. Oh. So, all right. <laughs> Let, let's let's boy. get... Who's, okay, that doesn't count, first of all. <laughs> okay, uh, I would like you all to start with a bit of an exercise. I want you to close your eyes and imagine for me okay. that you are a, a hard-working medieval peasant in the year 1386. Uh, you are in a little a little hamlet in France called Falaise. It's been a long week, and you've been foregoing work this week to go to the court to hear the drama of a murder in the fiefdom. You've heard gut-wrenching testimony of a mother who lost her child, the impassioned defense of the defendant's lawyers, lawyers provided by the lord of the land at no charge in accordance with the decrees of the king. And this whole thing was taken very seriously with due diligence, due process, evidence, all of that. And after mm -hmm. a long week and a dramatic trial and a guilty verdict, you and your fellow peasants have gathered to the town square where a hangman's gallows has been built for the final act of this tragedy. I'm just now realizing this is really dark for an episode of Bark Bark. No, it's fine. Nah, this is that's great. Good. We I'm just talked it. about me getting decapitated as a child. Oh, yeah. So this is fitting then. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, out yeah, of yeah. the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the courthouse, town guards escort a prisoner under armed guard dressed in a new suit of clothes because when you are sentenced to to be executed in, in the Middle Ages in this period in France, it is your right to be given a new suit to wear so that you may huh. uh, look your best when this happens. New suit, new you, until you die. Oh my god, <laughs> that's, why, that's why fucking old pe old ghosts always look so good. <laughs> oh, yes, wait. exactly. Wait, that's, that's looking amazing. This. That's not why, yes, yes. We'll say for the sake of whimsy and fun, yes. So out of the courthouse, uh, the hangman comes out and he reads the charges. Fatal mutilation, murder, and the post-mortem consumption of human flesh. 
Oh. The oh. prisoner is given the opportunity to say his last words, but doesn't say much of anything with them. The hangman ties his noose, hoists with all his might, and the cheers of the crowd erupt as the criminal, who is a pig, is hanged by the neck until dead. And I don't mean pig in the pejorative sense. I'm talking about an actual four-legged ungulate. That's right. This whole trial has been conducted for a pig. Welcome to the Middle Ages legal systems. And I say legal systems plural because I want to start with the caveat that there is no one legal system for all of medieval Europe. There is really not even one system in general for most things. And even like things you would assume, like Christianity or 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 political system doesn't factor in. But let's 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 cage ourselves. So does anyone have any questions about Hello. Yes, My, Solus. Can I have a star for not spoiling that this whole time? Because I knew what the subject... Well, I didn't know you, you get a, You oh, get a star. Well, no, well, Brown knows her much. I, I knew it wasn't going to be a... I knew it wasn't going to be a person, though. And I had to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Whatever. You get a you get a star for, uh, for uh, my my first thought is actually how progressive of the middle age people <laughs> to be like yeah yeah homie you can't just eat people for sure but how unprogressive of the middle age people to acknowledge that like a pig is like it like why aren't they why isn't the pig's master on trial that is a good I will question. get to that. Oh, okay. I will get to that. Oh, we get to that, and you get your okay. third star. Oh my yeah. god! Because <laughs> I like say, to reward curiosity. I'll let let Misha <laughs> ask a question before I jump back in. Yes, well, I was going to say I can't remember. Did they give the pig a suit? They did give the pig a suit. Let's yeah. go! How, he looked, Wait, okay. Did the pig get to? Fella? Because it said a suit of your choosing. Uh, <laughs> I accidentally said your choosing. I think they chose the pig, the suit for the pig. Oh, um, the I bet he looks good, though. Also, Misha gets a star for asking yeah. a very good question. Let's go. Do they uh, have... And for you, which, it... Ruby has oh. three stars, which means oh, uh, yep. you get a random prize from the treasure box, and I have my D8 out to make this work. I can't Hell yeah. It. Let's Hell see. Yeah. Is it a Zoid? The good news oh, is... Uh, oh. Let's see. Number five. One, two, three, four, five. You get... I can't believe I forgot I put this in the box. It is a CD copy of Mumford and Sons' Wilder Mind, which is widely considered to be the worst album of Mumford and Sons discography. Oh, I'm so <laughs> fucking excited. Oh my god. Wait, which 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 of the discographies has the cave on it? Because the cave is a good song. This I don't actually... know actually. I'm not a Mumford and Sons fan. This uh, came to me at 3 a.m. So chat, for those like watching, um oh. Oh, for those not watching, this freaking CD oh. is like a city with like a bench on it, and uh, this is the quintessential anything can be an album cover type of album cover. <laughs> yes, here oh, no. it is. Oh <laughs> no! You know what? Yes. That's yours. That's yours. I get up. All right, so I guess That's I lose yours. my stars now. Oh, you lose yeah, your true. stars now. You're back to zero. Okay. Uh, so, oh, whoops. I uh, want to make a plea before we continue. Oh, Misha, did you have a question? Well, no, no, no. I, I, was, I was figuring out who's Misha. Started. Your hand is raised, so no. I did, no, no, no. I did have true. a question. I'm just, I had a question. I'm just scratching my chin. Outside of my, uh, outside of my, uh, what do you call it? My, my brown nosing or whatever. Uh, uh, my question was: In your research, did you find any sort of? Obviously, there's no pictures, but drawings or any sort of visual representation of said pig and suit because i just did not unfortunately oh. the the uh oh. the research paper i got this from uh was walter woodburn hides prosecution and punishment of animals and lifeless thing in the middle ages and modern times and he didn't have any illustrations we need uh, i did find a french play <laughs> i i can give you the citations after but i did find a french play that was satirizing animal trials in the like 1700s Okay. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to give you a plea. Put aside your preconceived notions of medieval absurdity mm. and hear me out because medieval people were not stupid. They just had a vastly different framework of the world. Uh, like I said, from time to time, as well as kingdom to kingdom and even town to town. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start by explaining, okay, what makes this a logical thing to do to put an animal on trial raise his hand what are your... raise his hand raise his hand Solus. <laughs> so my thought process is uh obviously like in, in my mind the only way i think this could happen is like this wasn't a full-ass adult that got killed by the pig i'm thinking like a child or somebody got fucking 
You know, because pigs can be pretty it, big and they can be very violent. It was an infant, yes. Also, Gold okay. Star. It was an infant, and this is not the only case I found. In fact, the most common kind of medieval animal trial was specifically for pigs eating infants, and I don't All right, know why. Raise his hand not. if Wait, I can. No, I'm not finished. Not finished. <laughs> Me, let me, let me, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm getting all you confused. Ruby, you'll be next. Let me lay this out super quick. So I'm assuming that's the, in the in the framework of this. It was it was a small child or an infant, um, and all that happens, shit happens. The pig just took it out and decided to munch because pigs are known for doing that. That's <laughs> just talk, talk to any mob boss or mafia. Yeah, that's what you could do. Um, it's been a silly goofy and, uh so normally you would think most people would be like, yo, that pig just fucking ate a child. Um, just kill it. <laughs> um, but for some reason, these people are like, no, no. We're going to go ahead and give it due process for some reason. And they went ahead and did the trial. Just a, just a bunch so of people I think standing in a circle. Yo, why you that would, pig just why ate you a would put child. a pig on trial and not a person. Yes. I uh, think Ruby. one. Oh, pigs, not people. pigs, not people, Miss Logan. To typically, uh, these people are very religious, so a lot of these laws are also like under Ooh. God, <laughs> and like people, you know, there's a there's a justification and a punishment. But why would you try a pig and not a person? So a person doesn't have to die for, like, what I think the group is agreeing is kind of an accident, but somebody has to. So why not it be a pig in a nice suit? You are somewhat onto something with the church angle. And you are also somewhat of something on the other angle. You have the cases a little bit confused, but that's because I haven't revealed the uh, the very weird details oh, about God. this yet. But you are on the right track. Gold star for Ruby. Nice. Yeah, Solace so, so, cut you off before you could explain. I think Solace should lose a gold star for that. Explain what? What? No. I, I also did. think no, he was going to go into detail. detail. Yeah, you cut him off. I have a lot of prizes to give out, and some of them are very funny, so I want to give no, out what? as many of these no, as possible. Okay, okay, okay. No, Pip. No, Pip. Fuck you. Okay, you know well, what? Okay, that, that's I admire, that was a good you know star. What? You know what? I admire your tenacity. You get a third gold star, no, you spend oh all of them on your next prize. It was my grills of stars. I get a tomato. Star. <laughs> I don't want right. a prize anymore. One, two, this is the worst outcome. Solus, you get a little finger trap toy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, I just <laughs> want to say these are not PNG. Wait. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! I, I I'm sorry. Don't leave them as <laughs> not PNG. Well, I, wanna, I, wanna, I think right. it's better if they don't have transparency. I hate. <laughs> I fucking hate how that's actually like, kind of like talk about anxiety of getting your arm caught in a fucking door. The anxiety of that little finger trap thing. Holy shit! I thought you were gonna say the anxiety of getting eaten by a pig as a child, but no, uh, that, no, that too. No. I mean, <laughs> oh, see, look, I'm old what enough. What is your now. What is I your fucking... scale of anxiety from finger trap to being it's eaten? Big. <laughs> Look, so here's Comment the thing. in the chat down below. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Fuck pigs, because I'm I'm big enough now to where like oh, I'll just kill and eat it. I'm gonna kill and eat it myself. It ain't gonna eat me. This is gonna let's be Black see. Mirror episode so fast. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's move on with the lesson for a little bit. <laughs> so there are two kinds of medieval trials. <clears throat> There's the secular uh, pah, Jesus Christ, secular trial. Uh, and then there is the ecclesiastical trial. One is, of course, like done by the <clears throat> non-religious legal framework, and the other is done by the religious legal framework. Uh, the general thing that tends to happen with these medieval trials is that if the animal is like a dog or a pig or a sheep, etc., it's something that can be owned by a person, it goes to the secular courts. But if it is not the kind of animal that can be owned by a person, it tends to get handled by the ecclesiastical courts uh, for two reasons. One, because you need the power of the Lord in order to enforce the law on something that you do not own and have no control over. Uh, and two, because of a biblical idea of the domain of Adam and Eve over animals. So the, 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 the framework was God created... Uh, the church, the church rules over man, and man was created by God to rule over the animals. Therefore, by proxy, church rules over animals, animals are beholden to ecclesiastical law, and some theocratic scholars did vehemently disagree with this legal framework because it's, a, it's an animal, and actually they disagreed with it not because it was an animal, because, because animals couldn't be baptized. 
and oh, therefore okay. it didn't make sense. Uh, these scholars were asked to leave uh, raise the function. Hand. <laughs> raise your hand. Yes, what do you have? Okay, um, did this change when dogs could go to heaven? I was just going to talk uh, about this. No, oh, like I, I am afraid this did not because by that time animal trials weren't a thing. Are Look, you saying don't... that like <laughs> my dog cannot be committed for his crimes? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. <laughs> oh, he's howling just as I'm what? saying this. He oh fucking knows. What I'm he knows. About. He's onto you. No, <laughs> he's onto your ass. Okay. He's literally There's... howling. For the secular trial, there was this. Uh, a lot of a lot of um, medieval societies trace their roots back to Rome and like get their their idea of their legitimacy as a state from the state of Rome. <clears throat> so there's this ancient Roman law called Noxa Liability, which is the claim against a master or a father for wrongs committed by his son or slaves in order to exact revenge, compensation, or restitution for actual wrongs. Note, it is still the son or the slave who is tried. Uh, Oh. So when the animal can be tracked down and like dragged to a court, that is what happens. Ah. Um, the the important thing is there was not really much in the way of negligence law at the time, and so whenever these things oh. happen, these were reasonable people that had to go like, okay, we know what needs to be done. A pig ate a kid; it needs to be killed, right? So it uh -huh. doesn't eat children again. Uh, we don't have any law saying we could just do that, and if we just do that, then it's causing a whole nother legal mess yeah. if someone decides to press charges like the owner. So we'll do this actual thing, and we'll just grant this animal partial legal personhood to get this over with and, like, get it out of the way. The funny thing is, however, this allows for cases where the animals win. All right, oh, really quick. Yo. I, 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 I have to jump in really quick, because I, 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 I understand their thought process, because imagine... Medieval Karen gets pecked by a chicken and they just went ahead and killed the pig without doing the trial. So then she goes, Your chicken pecked me. I want it dead. So that person I want to speak to your farm chicken. owner. Yeah. Is, so I they didn't, you know. Speak, I want to speak to you, nobleman. You know, obviously the chicken didn't freaking murder her, but, you know, it becomes a problem. So they do this uh, whole pig trial thing. <laughs> and if, you know, they keep it keeps it kind of, you know, you can't just start making random claims like that and getting a bunch of livestock killed. Uh, Misha, can you yeah. do me a favor? I want to award Pip a gold star for that joke. Thank you so much. <laughs> what do you mean? Pip's, Pip's already a gold star. Aww. Stop brown nosing so <laughs> Why? Because my brown nosing is thank better you, than yours? Thank you, Misha. <laughs> wow, uh, Solis. <laughs> Ruby, I want to give you another gold star for, for applauding uh, <laughs> and fighting against that. brown nosing. <laughs> Which means you get another prize. Yeah. Oh, Oh, yes! You get number eight! That's my favorite one! Oh, gosh. So fucking excited. It was rigged. This whole thing is rigged. A pack of Winston cigarettes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I specifically oh my God. chose the pack that says smoking kills on the front. I love it! You're just I trying to take one of her fucking. Try to take another one of her nine lives away. This episode fuck. of Bark Bark Meow is brought to you by no, Truth Social. No. <laughs> this episode of Bark Bark Meow is literally to you by Flintstone cigarettes. <laughs> we are literally advertising cigarettes with no. cartoon no, animal characters it says right now. This kills. is so illegal. It says we smoking full. kills. That's bad. What we're saying is, Pip, is you saw us as competition, and now you're trying to take out the podcast. No, I'm saying I find cigarettes really funny for some reason. Anyway. Dude, I love it. I'm at, I'm gonna smoke one right now. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> All right. Or Misha, you get a gold star for being against smoking. Yay. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I, you get another gold star. I, I, oh. I'll save off on that. Misha one. gets a prize. No, you got. I'm gonna have to. You have to yeah, fuck it. Misha gets a prize. Let's go. Fuck it. Misha gets a prize. Consolation uh, prize. Seven. What is number seven? Uh, you get the Shrek Valentine's Day stickers. God, there's so many of these stars. Hold yes. on. Yes. I'm having so much trouble keeping track of these. I'm sorry, I'm making you work to, double time. I tried to rename them to like R1, R2 for like Ruby 1, Ruby 2. It renamed fucking all of them. Okay, uh, we're wasting dude. too much time with gold stars no, we're, right now. We're, we're, it, it's fine. Wasting? Uh, I do need me <laughs> to look at Telegram eventually because I have something. But Okay, right. let me... Just, let me just In your own time, in your own time. Let me get rid of Ruby stars real quick. Are you guys passing notes? I am talking personally. shit about the teacher. Nope. <laughs> uh, he must be because it's not in our mutual chat, which means he DM'd just oh, Misha. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, you know and let what? me read out what Misha said. Misha said, Fat Hog Friday. That's not. Oh. oh, no, no, no. That was explaining Blue Sky. I did say that. Yes. <laughs> that was a while ago, though. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. I did not. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. (laughs) Okay. So let's talk about some actual cases now that we've done talking about theory and get to some actually entertaining stuff. Um, So I am so entertaining. Excuse you. Oh, oh, you are entertaining. Thank you. (laughs) I think I deserve a gold star. (laughs) Okay, let's not get too good. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Okay. I sound like a smoker. Jesus. (laughs) <laughs> you feel like a smoker i'm sorry it's I'm because dis- i'm making a disco elysium joke ignore me um, oh my god i love that game it's so good it's, it's so my favorite good. game oh my god oh my I, god i dude i just did the fascist run you just a did what? a fascist run i just yeah everything i, I hear about a, disco a, elysium I just has nothing to do with dance run. music <laughs> dude, you don't for real. understand no it's so You're much right, it's I so don't. much <laughs> Uh, thank I you, just, thank I just did my RPG? apocalypse run. Dude, I can't. I need to do my communism run, but I kept dying. I actually died because I put what? on a sweater. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah I jumped through yes. the sweater and then I died. Yeah. This is. Crazy. What does any of that mean? <laughs> yep. Comment below. Okay. Hey, Misha. So we need to play Misha, Disco Elysium. Talk- is what it is. I will Misha, buy you, motherfuckers, when, Disco Elysium. When you okay? talk about Yu-Gi-Oh, this is what you sound like. Oh to my me. god, dude. <laughs> You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> I will buy Disco Elysium because for you motherfuckers, because it is that good a game. I'm Let's, I'm being a hundred percent serious. It's is genuinely it normal for the so teacher good. to call his students motherfuckers. It is one of the few games that has made me cry. Oh, the, Misha, you're in college and cry, you haven't actually. been called a motherfucker yet. I can't say I've done anything bad enough to be called that. No. Oh, I've only done good things to be called a motherfucker. True. But... Anyway. <laughs> Doggy stockades. So, <clears throat> in the 17th century, uh, in Austria, there was a case where, in the town square, while the market was going on, a local dog uh, bit and thrashed around an alderman's ankle, uh, causing injury to the alderman. The injury was not not fatal, however. Uh, initially, he was charged with attempted murder. However, the dog was put in jail and appointed a defense attorney who no. pled the case down from attempted murder to aggravated assault. Uh, The dog dog was found guilty of aggravated assault, but because the law for aggravated assault was not uh, was not that of execution, it was uh, being put in stockades in the public square for a year. Uh, That is the punishment the dog got. However, there were no dog sized stockades for the dog. Uh, So knowing this, the town hired the local carpenter who built a little puppy stockade for the dog. I know, it's very sad. This is actually really sad. I I can't believe I put this one in. Jesus, (laughs) right. Uh, Look, medieval medieval shit, man. Medieval shit. I think this is really wholesome. He he, got his sentence lowered. He's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. So he was given a cell in to stay at night and a guard to escort him to and from his puppy stockade during the day. Uh, And eventually... He was released from prison at the end of the year and reunited with his master. Oh, so happy ending, kind of. Yeah, see, that's not kinda. so bad. Yeah, that's not, that's not the worst. Uh, yeah, that's not definitely could have been worse. <laughs> it definitely could have been worse. Let's talk about worse, actually. Well, um, here we so, fucking go. 1750, Paris, France, and this is the second record. I, I fucking hate what I titled this slide in my fucking notes, and I'm gonna. I'm going to explain why when I'm done with the story. At any point, if you want to say, like, no, we're not doing this, I understand completely. Uh, <clears throat> so there was a town ruffian in this quarter of Paris who nobody liked. He was a constant drunkard, like, bar fighter, you know, constantly caught pinching pockets, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, one day, the people of the town stable find this, this uncouth ruffian... Uh, engaged, I don't know how to, I don't know how to put this lightly, engaged in salacious acts with a female donkey. Uh, the donkey Whoa. and the man are arrested and taken to jail. Um, <laughs> no, what? Okay. The fuck usually, <laughs> usually, the standard procedure for this was, because apparently this happened a lot in Paris, uh, was, Jesus. Uh, the standard procedure for this was you sentence them both to the crime that shall not be named, and then you execute both the animal and the person. Oh. However, however, the donkey's I lawyers. Hate this, wait, no, I hate this. However, donkey's lawyers. 
the donkey's lawyers the public managed defendant. to find he was sexually assaulted please the managed to find multiple witnesses to the donkey's good character including including more than one church official yes justice for the donkey <laughs> <laughs> the donkey is thus acquitted of the charges and returned to the care of her owner. Let's the man, go. however, the man's lawyer could not find a single person willing to vouch for oh him. My God. Oh no! But because he was so so disliked by everyone in this borough of Paris. Oh, uh, raise his hand. That man, raise. Yeah, go ahead. Raise okay. Uh, remember how earlier you told us that medieval people were not stupid. Yeah. I think this this is a testimony to that. Yeah, this absolutely is a testimony to that. <laughs> I I Sorry. guess Solus, I'll go gold star for both of you. Sorry, Bobby. Misha. Wait, let him finish. Yeah, yeah finish. Go go ahead and finish what you were gonna say, and then I'll just say what I was gonna say. Uh, I know no, no Solus. I already, I already forgot. I already forgot. Oh hey, you're no. one of us. Hey, hey. hey. I'm an idiot. Club. Bark, bark, hey! bark, 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 bark. Wait, you just you just insinuated that we're all idiots. You fuck it? No, what? no, 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 Donkey Donkey's was acquitted. acquitted yes. His lawyers couldn't get anybody to vouch for him, and thus his punishment was burned at the stake. Jesus. Whoa. Let's go. Which I, think, which I think is a win. I think it's a win for sure. I think that's a great it sounds win. Sounds like if he's if he's gonna attack a donkey, what else has any or what has he done that he hasn't been caught with? And you already said he's already done a bunch of other shit. So it's like you know probably deserved it. I this is I'm, a, this is I'm actually a big believe. believer in character. Uh, yeah. character like testimonies yeah because i think all people make mistakes um but also like if nobody's coming to bat for you that tells me fucking everything i was just about Ruby, to say who makes this mistake Ruby? i think my who biggest goal mistake? in life somebody so, who's not I, gonna have anybody come to bat for you man i True. tripped and, i tripped and fell and fucked a donkey yeah you know Oops. it happens yeah Oops. <laughs> Oopsie, he just really wanted to. I just and fell and ended up <laughs> just... in this salacious position with a farm animal. His lawyer just goes up and goes, "My, uh, your honor, he's an ass man." <laughs> Fuck up. off! Get out of my class! I'm taking. You, you I, get I'm no taking star. Initiative. Remove taking your a... star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remove Which the one stars. of these fuckers is it? That would have been my defense. It would have been perfect. The honor would have said acquitted. No, dude. I You're think literally... like. Like, I think my entire goal in life is, if I'm ever in a position where it's like, oh, Misha, that guy, like, anyone, anyone willing to go, uh, go to bat for him? Like, he's a good guy, right? If I hear nothing but silence, I, I have failed. Like, not Dude, one person willing yeah. to be like, he's not so bad. Like, yeah. yeah that's okay, even John Wolf had people going to bat for him. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That but says but everything. The <laughs> but the man from Ooh. France did not. And that honestly makes sense because he's French. Oh, I, I didn't totally... want to make a French joke, but yeah. I was biting my tongue. No, you're good. I Me, I we here not. at the Bark Bark Meow podcast are super racist. So. No, uh, what? Against, <laughs> against the French. Against the French. Against against the French. The French. <laughs> Calm down. What about French Canadians? No, they're cool. Uh, Canadian, they're all cool. Canadians, Canadians are cool. Exist, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. you don't yeah. exist, Misha. Also, what? I titled the slide that I'm reading that entire case from from Paris with love, and I hate myself for it. <laughs> okay. I have God, also drawn... <laughs> I have also edited my character again. Oh, God. Because I just... I have energy today. It's this cranberry surge, I'm telling you. Aw. Uh, uh, give Solus another surge, star, by the way, for the ass joke. Nice. Solus doesn't have a prize yet, and I have a bunch of good ones here. That What's I going on with your... Oh, oh God, you got the sticky. No. I love it. Ooh, fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have to move a little art. I do. It's gotta be oh, fun. you got the cigarette! <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, you, you I it. love That's getting bad. my students hooked on tobacco products. Dude, no. we're just lighting one up today. Uh, no. uh, I do not smoke in real life, and I do not condone smoking, but I will say... 
it does look cool as fuck, and I like no, it in art. No, <laughs> I I like smoking because electrochemistry made me like smoking, and that is another Disco Elysium reference. Oh my oh, god, Disco Elysium's so good. I know. Oh my god, god, Misha, another game we have to play. Fuck, fuck, <laughs> add it Speak. to the list. Remind me, remind me to to uh uh something about Cult of the Lamb later. I see Cult of the Lamb. I'm putting it in my notes. Next <laughs> case. <laughs> All right. So uh, this, wait, hold off. Hold off. How many more cases do we have? Only two. Oh, okay. this could be. This could uh, yeah, be. This, was this just, is this a whole episode. <laughs> we did. Yeah, no, we gonna, could do. I do honestly want... thought this was only going to be about ten to fifteen minutes. It's totally fine. It's been a blast. I am very choices. sorry for wasting y'all's time like that, but I will. You're not wasting. It. No, Again, this has been wasted. Great. No, I'm sorry no. for inundating you with my bullshit, but unfortunately for you, I shall continue. No, that's how I feel about every episode. I apologize. God damn it. 1545, St. Julian, France. This is our first ecclesiastic Ooh. case. The vineyard farmers of St. Julian have sued the local population of weevils in the church court for the destruction of the year's harvest. No. The weevils and the vineyard have received attorneys. Now, the weevil in question is a species that is very commonly associated with the destruction of wine crops and wine harvests. So this is nothing unusual. It just hadn't happened in this scale for a while. So both of them had an initial pass at this in 1545. Mm -hmm. uh, the church ruled that yes. both were, were kind of fine, sort of at a fault, solace. Raise his hand, prosecutions. Prosecution says, <laughs> it's a weevil. It's, a, it's got evil in the name. What do you expect? Uh, third gold star and you get a prize. Hold on. Hold uh, raise his hand. Misha? Or salt. Oh, God, Ruby, fuck. I don't know I didn't stand. I don't want to so... talk anymore. Jesus. <laughs> it's I'm a cigarette. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Your I voice clearly to... got deeper and sounds also... like Misha now. <laughs> Ruby is one cigarette like away I from smoke? Misha. <laughs> uh, by the way, Solace, you get you get the gamer t shirt. Oh the gamer t shirt? Oh, I gotta see this. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you read it out you to said the these were no, I, I have to... Yeah, you're really Solace, I will trade my uh C D oh, my gamer t shirt. Uh, no, I'm keeping the gamer t-shirt. Also, Fucking fuck uh, you. I have to say this out loud now because this is going to take longer than I expected. At some point in time, Ruby, uh, you didn't realize this, but the, the, f the, the finger trap that I had um, is now on two of your fingers, keeping your hands now collapsed together. That's oh, what I passed to Misha. Is I rolled a d20 to see if I could sneakily put the finger trap on you. Oh my god. I thought that Misha was just stacking all the gifts on me. No, no. <laughs> no so canonically, no. your fingers are trapped. You have okay. one on each hand. Okay. Both your pointer fingers are now trapped. <laughs> all right. You're now uh, constantly stuck doing that little thing. That the I'm going to grab a d20. Doing and doing the little the worm finger. finger. Hang on, I gotta get my d20. <laughs> yeah, roll a d20 and see if you can take it off. While she, making, while uh, she making is doing that. changes to your uh, t-shirt. Go uh, for it. I, I was gonna say, I honestly don't care if you just slap the box and, like, my torso, I don't give a shit. That's it's so unfortunately not. A, the, the picture of the man is included as well. Yeah. Oh, that's even funnier. <laughs> I have killed the man. Can he just can he just use it to block me out? <laughs> no. <laughs> can I just be this random man? No, I cut the man out. Oh, okay. Uh, fuck, I'm poodling. Well, you know I am king poodler. Bro, 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 you're poodling. I'm the king poodler. It's right, okay. I do got to slide you're the this. King poodler, you're poodling under the gold yes, stars, sir. though. Well, the gold stars go away now. Wait, where did where did where did it go? Oh, I got I'm wait so out here. sorry the for the work I've inadvertently made Dude, for you, Misha. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and have to delete all these. Oh, it's great. I, I genuinely, I thought I was just gonna have to track all this and we, I'd like, read out uh, the gifts and it would be audio. Nah. Yeah, because I actually, I actually explicitly told Pip like try not to make Misha more work. I did the exact opposite this of that. This takes actually. me like you tried... ten seconds each. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's great. All right, I got the gamer shirt on. Which, by the way, I'll read it out. It says my, per it's a black T-shirt. Uh, it says, my perfect birthday, check mark boxes, four of them with uh, things to the right of them and two controllers. The things that are next to the check marks are from top to bottom, wake up, turn 14, game all day, and sleep. Can Which, I just say? If you're a true gamer, oh, that's your mer my perfect birthday, but like, let's be real, like, who puts sleep on there? No, not, e not a single the gamer guy, puts sleep on there. The guy yeah. wearing this is not 14. <laughs> He's no. not. He's like in he's, his 30s, and that makes it no. even funnier. I was going to say, he's at best mid 20s. He's like my age, 32. <laughs> Which, I'm oh. so sorry for the Fuck. fucking 
whiplash I've just created. All right, <laughs> with back the fucking... to the yeah, back Wait, to the back, back to the, the fucking back, court the case. case. Okay, where the fuck were we? Oh yeah, um, the church ruled that both parties were partially at fault. And they ruled first <clears throat> that the vineyard older owners must hold three additional masses and public prayers must be held and a piece of communion bread must be paraded three times around the vineyard in, quote, solemn procession. In exchange, oh. the weevils are then ordered to leave the premises under the threat of the excommunication of the entire species, which the church claims they can do because weevils were not original inhabitants of Noah's Ark. Oh, do you think what? Holy shit! Do you think this worked? Can't can't say it did. I'm gonna say. Unfortunately, it did I, for 42 I say, years. I, I was oh. gonna say. I think it did. I think they went on a straight up extermination spree. It worked for 42 years. The weevils left until that's so sad. The year 1580 until the year 1587, when the weevils returned and are tried for a second time. The previous lawyers had died in the interim, and so they had to appoint new lawyers who do a far better job of defending the Weevils this time. So <laughs> they relitigate the case, and it ends up being the Weevil the Weevils uh, get awarded a parcel of land set aside for them for the displaced Weevils to live on. Uh, Weevils advocates, however, found a problem with this land. Uh, a bit, essentially, it had an old ochre mine, which is like a kind of uh, a kind of red soft uh, a mineral that you use to draw with. Okay. Um, it was currently under the possession of a tenant who was not using it. However, if the tenant ever decided to resume operations, the weevils would be detrimentally impacted and yet again displaced. <clears throat> so this nullified the church's contract and forced the case to continue into the summer, where the church got tired of this shit and decided, one, they do have the legal right to compel the insects to stop their ravaging, but two, the insects cannot be deprived of their right to life as a creature created under God's plan. Aww. With And there was also a secret third thing to this case uh, that we'll never know because the last page of the 29-volume record of this case was eaten by weevils. That's amazing. Uh -huh. That's the oh, only way this could end. Oh my god. Yep. The, the, the third case was, since we can't displace them, kill them all. And then they were like... <laughs> Nah, we eat the page. <laughs> uh, uh, raise his hand. Yes. Um, there is a very similar case to this is in the Warrior rats? Cats novels. Oh. No and I don't know. I think I should get a point for that. No, you have to explain the Warrior Cat. You have to. I have to know what this case is. <laughs> okay. Explain okay. to me the Warrior Cats case. Okay, so it's in Wind Clan territory, and it's in the book specifically Crow Feathers Trial, which is wait wait. No, it's yeah, I think it's trial. Anyway, Crowfeather's book and uh his son is being accused of murdering his mom, but Crowfeather's like, no, he'd never do that, but he is a bad guy. Turns out it's a group of nefarious stoats living under Wind Clan territory. The stoats attacked Night Pelt. Fuck, the Boy Cats people are gonna come for me because I said her name wrong. Anyway, and she gets picked up by two legs who nurse her back to health. They go on a mission to go find them. The, he's proven innocent, and then they all attack the stoats who fucking almost kill Breeze Pelt, the accused, but then Lion Blaze comes to save him. Stoats, my goats. I see, I see. Stoats. What uh, while, you were, while you were saying that, I was searching up how many Warrior Cats books are there because I wanted Two. to confirm something. Two. And there are, in fact, there are, in fact, more books in the Warrior Cats series than there are in the Bible. Uh, I love that fact. Hello. So what I hear I is I'm Warrior gonna tweet Cats that right now. <laughs> it's actually the most explicit reason as to why I won't uh, read all of the Warrior Cats books because there's too many. <laughs> On top of the fact, it's also very like One Piece, where there's just too many episodes for me to want to start that series. Oh my god, One Piece! Yeah. Me with okay, let TV it be shows. known that I tried to roll to get my finger trap off, and I did not roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, Nisha, if you're up to it, like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send this this screenshot to the group. Oh, you should have, uh, should have put more points into interfacing there, Ruby. Uh, all of my points are in charisma. True. I think all of Actually, mine. I'm gonna roll for charisma. I'm gonna roll for charisma and see if I can talk my way out of getting. 
I was gonna say, like, like, yeah. I was gonna say, if you why roll just that, just right at... now, I will allow you to convince. I got the... fourteen. Off your <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say anything check? over. I was gonna say not twenty. No, anything over ten, you could probably get one of these guys to help you get the thing off. I got a fourteen mm. in charisma, and I have yeah. a buffer of plus three. So who did you talk to? Which one of these two lovely fellows did you just Misha, talk to? Misha, Misha's the DM. That's oh, Fib is the teacher. To, to Misha's, you're asking <laughs> Misha to help you take the, the finger trap off because how how are you convincing Misha to help get the trap off though? Misha, I'll stop smoking. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> it was surprising yeah. how quickly yeah. you had that cigarette ready. And for so for the the vis, uh, for the audio listeners, uh, there's a finger trap. Uh, not PNG. <laughs> yeah, these have all been JPEGs. <laughs> uh, JPEG that was put on on Ruby, right? And um, yeah, it was a little struggle there, and now it's on the gr- well. It's just off screen. It fell off. The, you, yeah, it, it got thrown to the ground because uh, obviously, uh, Chari- obviously you're done with my check. bullshit. <laughs> Polis, I'm gonna convince you with my charisma. This is a D and D. To trade <laughs> okay. your T-shirt for my CD. All right, it's, well, stop playing the I satanic really game. We so need to get thing. back to our history lesson. We That's fine. <laughs> I'm letting this happen, damn it. Uh, I got okay. a 13. Not not even close. Fuck I you. really <laughs> like the t-shirt. I don't give a shit about the CD. You needed like an 18. You needed okay. a high one. Yeah, it's okay. one of okay. life Back to class. <laughs> so for now, you have not talked me out of my shirt. Wink. All I want to say <laughs> is Weevil was that Shit ass kid from Yu Gi Oh who dropped uh, oh Yugi's my god, cards oh my god. off of the cruise ship. That guy's Can we talk about how there's too much talk about a media? little bitch that needs to be tried? And uh, yeah. I, I want Misha to get a gold star for unlocking a core memory. <laughs> okay, get, give him a gold star. All right, <laughs> this last one I have titled The Rats, The Rats, We're the Rats. I uh, love that. This one is in Autun, France, in 1522. This is the last case. It is an ecclesiastical case. Uh, it is a case where local bro- I can I cannot talk. Local rats. You did this brought- all the stumblies this time. I do this all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. It's the solace stumblies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this uh, local rats are brought before the bishop's vicar for trial, <clears throat> charged with wanton destruction of the barley crop, and for this case. Rats accidentally rolled France's best lawyer and shenanigans ensued. I want you to imagine Saul Goodman resurrected in the Middle Ages. This is what we're dealing with. Uh, Raise his hand. Yes. There is also a very similar case in Warrior. Oh we don't even God. know the case yet. We can't say that until the case is over. No, because the it's 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 the Sky Clan camp, and they're running out of food, and they don't know why. And slowly but surely, there's a lot of rats are showing up in the gorge. Oh, okay. My God. Tangentially related because there's rats and there's starvation, but this is a different thing. We'll see. Also, it's the second Warriors we'll cat reference. I don't know. I'm just saying. That's like the that fourth Warriors like cat reference. <laughs> yeah, let's just say you're playing that card a little hard, Ruby. It's my Why only I... card. <laughs> Why did my synapses just fucking ignite with the words <laughs> "fucking Warrior Cats Elysium"? Ignore me. Oh, let's get back. Oh to no! Oh god! I'm thinking, I can hold on. I gotta smoke again after that. Oh my god! <laughs> no. You all right? Put the finger trap back on her. No, get, no. I already point. talked about it. <laughs> I can't grab it. I know you oh can't. gosh! It's literally Too late. okay. Uh, all this so... smoking is making me feel really ill. Oh, oh my the God. first. Oh, okay. The first, the first prosecution attempt. The rats were summoned. Uh, all of the rats in the town were summoned. I should say. The mm-hmm. lawyer shows up without the rats, and he pleads that a summons for only local rats to show up is too regional for a case where all rats in the bishop's parish are being tried. He thinks every single rat needs to be brought in who is from this parish uh, in order to provide a fair legal defense. The bishop rolls his eyes and says, okay, I'm going to give a court order for all the rats in the diocese to show up on this specific day. May I remind you that the I think what they were trying to do here was just have the rats violate their court date and then mm-hmm. just evict them. Yeah, um, valid. Yeah, and make, and just make a judgment. With, yeah. Yeah. Attempt number two. Every single rat in the diocese is summoned, but none of them show up. The lawyer argues that if he is summoning all of the rats in the diocese, a 
very serious and great migration preparation would need to be made by the rats. They'd all have to get little tiny buttons to put on their paws and like little needles so they could go on a little red wall rat adventure and be really cute. And the church hadn't given them enough time to do that. Uh, so <laughs> Super said, valid. Need to push exactly. They all need to go on their little mouse warrior adventure. And I find that really amazing. I'm uh, this, lawyer. Lawyer. This, this lawyer is kicking ass. Yeah, I know. I want the dude who defended the, the rats. Dude, the bishop is <laughs> the bishop is just getting pissed. <laughs> He's like, the bishop is furious. You are not kidding when you said Saul Goodman. Holy shit! <laughs> I know it's great. <clears throat> so the bishop's like, fine. Uh, Saul we'll Goodman's persona is officially a rat head cannon. Ayo. <laughs> yes, yes, I get that. Yes, that's great. So. Bishop says, fine, we'll delay the proceedings by another couple months. This gives the rats time to, like, get little little tiny capes and little tiny buttons to wear on their paws and little tiny <laughs> needles to use as swords. So, attempt number three, this third date finally rolls around and no rats show up again, of course. But, in comes Saul Goodman, rat lawyer. <laughs> Slippin' Jimmy the rat lawyer, who argues that a court summons... Wait. In theory, yes. There's this ad. I had to Google it because I, I almost do I, I love your red wall, red wall reference so much. The red wall reference, the, the sword in that book is called Rat Death, by the way. That is amazing. Gold Star for uh, Solus. <laughs> also, yeah, Gold Star that. for Misha for the sound effects. We love that. Hold on. You're awarding motherfuckers Gold Stars <laughs> now? Yeah. Oh, 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 uh, hold on. I'll roll, I'll roll charisma. Hang on. Oh no, okay, God. you know, we're, you'll win, you win, okay, you win. Oh, I rolled charisma, I got a 20! Oh my God. No, fine. you not 20, yes. Yeah, so. I just yeah, 20, 20, that means you get I'm another gold they star. They are, in fact, gold get a gold, gold star. star. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so no rats show up again. Saul Goodman Rat Lawyer returns, and he says that legally, a court summons is supposed to guarantee the right to complete safety and protection from the defendant's domicile all the way to the courtroom itself. Huh. However, the church did not appoint any armed guards for such a migration, and what's worse, the plaintiffs, in reminder, the plaintiffs are just the farmers. Like people, yeah. The plaintiffs are killing still, had, still had cats. I'm very sorry for what I'm about to say, Ruby. Still had cats running free and intimidating Boo. the defendants. Boo. Boo. No, Boo. Ruby is intimidating. Yeah, so there was like, okay. Oh, I thought, you're I thought th we were just upset because I hate outdoor cats. <laughs> oh, true. No, no, that was it. it I was, was just uh, thinking yeah. a different angle. <laughs> well, in that, in that time, they had a job, and that was to, like, you know, keep mice out of the barn. So I Yeah, mean, they were employed and also could be sued, so... <laughs> <laughs> they also could be sued, yes. So, so what, you're saying being is, sued. what you're saying is the, the rats countersued against the cats? <laughs> sort of. They argue that there was uh, legal intimidation going on here, and so they didn't want to show up to court. Uh, at this honestly. point, the church was about to agree to a binding restriction on the plaintiff's cats, but at this point, the plaintiffs just said, forget this, we're done. I don't want to do this anymore. This isn't worth oh, it. Oh, fucking Saul Goodman <laughs> rat lawyer won this case? Won this case, and for this, he won his first laureate for legal excellence, and later, he became the very first head of the Parlement de Provence in France. That's amazing. I... And so he rode off into the sunset. I, I mean, that's some, that's a hell of a case to put on your resume as a fucking lawyer, Jesus. It is. It really is. In Amazing. conclusion, legal shenanigans happen in any society with a legal system. They were not the only ones who give partial uh, personhood to non-people entities. We do the same thing with corporations. Uh, and I think that corporations should also be allowed to be arrested. Um... Yo, I agree. Uh, yeah, agree. Yo. Yo. yo, welcome on, comrade. <laughs> you gotta give it to yo. the people, people for at least being logically consistent about their shenanigans. And uh, final word: tell us in the comments which court your persona would be tried in, and for what crime oh, would you be I found guilty? And if so, what would your punishment be? Yo, uh, I am found cloud. guilty, and my punishment is uh, death by garage door. Yeah. I oh, like, was garage the door guillotine. No, the problem yeah. is, is a lot. I think here's the thing. I think a lot of people at this point in time expect Ruby to go out in some sort of crazy shenanigan or blaze of glory. And very unfortunately, my prediction is Ruby's going to go out in the most mundane way possible. Dude, I'm going to fall You're down gonna... some stairs or something. Yeah, no, something. 
Yeah. You're going to go out and like slip on a freaking little bit of ice and just eat shit. God slip on a banana it. peel. A slide whistle's going to play. Boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, really quick, I just wanted to say, Pip, that was awesome. I had a lot of fun. Wow. <laughs> that is the weirdest sound effect to play to follow. That was awesome. <laughs> I was like, I like trying to, to do it nice for mine. And then, and then <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh my god! Just wanted to say thank you so much, Pip. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, th there will be a uh, link down below to their socials as well as their YouTube channel. Um, it was a lot of fun. That was great. I'm I'm very glad that uh, that y'all enjoyed it. Thank you so I'm much for having me on. You actually did this much effort in like a week. <laughs> yeah, you, I you did it in like, two days. Oh, actually, I have a whole PowerPoint that was like, "What, dude? We gotta we gotta get Pip in charge of our episodes." <laughs> <laughs> we'll never uh, get off track the, again. We'd love to have Are you, you again. Me? Off track. For... Oh wow. <laughs> That's our dude. Off track should have been the name of our fucking podcast. If we would have known, yeah. we hadn't <laughs> done enough. We hadn't done podcast episodes yet. I know. No, Remember the similar fuck. times when Solus was like, "Here, here's my friend Ruby," and I'm like, "Ah, hello." Wait, Hi, did, hello. Did, didn't we have didn't we have a season two uh like title? Because if not, oh, we season did. Two, oh, we did. Two comment below track. if you guys remember the co the title because we did have it. But I get we had one. Here. I swear to God. But I, if if we We're don't remember it, off season two is here. off track. Off track. Season two. <laughs> All right. So uh, the we've decided that uh, because. Uh, the little history lesson, which was great, took so long. We're gonna make this a part two episode because oh. we Solus yeah. has some ask questions for yes. uh, for Pip and such. So we'll do a mini closing, but it'll be really short because this is just a part two. No, no we're Wait, gonna end what? this like a regular episode, Ruby. No, we're gonna end it real quick. In fact, just no. Misha no, cut no, us no, off no, right no. now.